It is the 25th of December. Merry Christmas, everyone. This is Love Notes, daily devotions from Holy Trinity Lutheran Church. Today we sing. We sing again with Isaiah, only today we sing about the blessed messengers who announce to the world that good news has come. Today, in light of Christmas, in light of the birth of the Savior, in light of the coming of one who will take up the cross and rise from the dead, in light of, well, the very light of all creation, we become those messengers and we remember those first shepherds who took the good news into the world. Isaiah sings, how beautiful upon the mountains are the feet of the messenger who announces peace. In Paul's writings, he uses a quote from this and he makes a plural out of messenger, implying, of course, that he and all the apostles and every one of us who's been baptized into Christ are also messengers. And how beautiful we are when we proclaim grace and mercy and peace. How beautiful are those who bring good news, who announce salvation, who says to Zion, your God reigns. You see, at the end of things, my friends, this thing started on Christmas will finally come to fruition and God will reign all in all. There will no longer be the struggles of the world and the things that we know that aren't right. Isaiah sings of a day to come, but he also sings of a message to proclaim that coming as we live in this world today. He proclaims that the people will return to Zion. And what he means by that is that Jerusalem will once again become the center of God's life in the world, that everyone in the world emanating out from Jerusalem will be part of the kingdom of God. The good news of today is not that just a baby was born in Bethlehem, uh, not just that we get together and give gifts and do all of that sort of stuff. The good news, well, it's national, it's global, it's cosmic. It, it reaches to the end of the universe and declares that God alone is God and God is active in the world, redeeming it. And that we should then go and tell that the darkness doesn't get the final word, that death does not reign over us, that suffering can be redemptive and that we can somehow in the midst of the suffering be raised up and resurrected just as our Lord was. You see, Christmas is but a beginning of the work of Jesus Christ. It's but a beginning of the good news that goes out into the whole world by the voice of the body of Christ, the raised Jesus in the world, which is you and me. Today, the song that we've chosen to sing appropriately is Go Tell It on the Mountain. An old song that declares that the shepherds were in the field and when they'd seen this wonderful sight, they couldn't keep their mouths shut. And so they went and told it to the mountains and to the people and to the trees and to the sheep and anything else that would listen. For all of creation needs to know that our redemption is drawing near. On this Christmas, we wish you all grace and peace. We wish you blessings. And we start by telling you that Christ is born. Redemption has come to the world. Hope is with us. Peace will reign. Let us pray. Holy God, on this holy day, we ask you to fill our hearts with the love and mercy of Christ so that our mouths can not avoid speaking of it, that through our words and through our deeds, we would declare the hope born in us, the hope born in Bethlehem that still resides within and all around us. Overwhelm us with your grace, Lord, and send us with the shepherds to declare it to the mountains that Jesus Christ is born. Amen.